Let me go. I actually didn't want me to do it. It was very expensive. I was like, let's just full send, see what happens. I went inside and then he handed me the keys. Freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have spent all my money on this. It's one problem after another. And and I look behind me, and there's just a car sitting there, and I'm like, that's sketch. I mean, we, we are illegal to do this. And here's where the adventure starts. What's up, catch kids? Oh my gosh, y'all are so smart. You guys don't need an intro. I bought a truck also. I just mean baby Oakley off a bottle, so she might be going crazy, my love. But yeah, I bought a truck, and I'm going to tell you guys the whole story right here. So Miguel loves looking on Craigslist, and so he'd always be like, Oh, Claire, what about this truck? What about this truck? And I'd be like, no, disgusting, no. I don't know anything about motors, like, not that much. And so I was just basing off of how it looks, if I'm being completely honest, and, like, you know, if it can pull stuff and if it works good. Um, and so when he found this truck, and it wasn't even on Craigslist, I don't think. Um, it was, it was actually from a dealership, and... He's like, he's like, what about this one? And I'm like, that's legit my dream truck. And you know, me and Miguel played around with the fact that I'm only 13. I can't legally drive on the road yet. But I was like, at the end of the day, it's my dream truck to a T. And I didn't want it to be a year from now and me regretting and wishing that I would have bought it. And all the money I was making off of YouTube and off of my animals, I was saving it for this truck. I wasn't spending it on anything and I was really committed and, I was, and I've been doing that for like years. And so Miguel was kind of like trusting me on that and I didn't have all the cash to pay for it. Like hands down, like here you go, done deal. Because it was very expensive. <laughs> um, but... But but this was before we even checked it out, and so Miguel was like, all right, like right, let's go look at it. Someone tried to steal it, and so they tried to break in, but they busted like the ignition, and they didn't know that you had to press a button for it to start. And so that thing was all broken up, so we couldn't take it for a test drive. But then we waited, I don't know, maybe like a week and a half on August 27th, and we went back. Okay, guys, so we're leaving right now to go look at it. I like, I can't even breathe right now, and like, I dress like so adultly. Like, what? Who am I? Like, I, like, I seriously can't even like process what's happening, and it's not official, but if you guys are seeing this, then that means that it is. Like, I, I don't even know what to do. I brought like a thousand dollars cash on me to be like, here, like, save it for me. I don't even know, like, like, I'm seriously doing this. Like, what? Throughout that, like, one week period, I was just really thinking deeply about this. Like, you know, should I do it? Like, I don't know. Should I wait? But then I'm like, no. Like, is it more than I wanted to spend on my first truck? Yeah. But am I potentially going to be able to make this? Yes. And so I was like, let's just full send, see what happens. When we first test drove it, Miguel actually didn't want me to do it. He's like, nah, it doesn't run perfectly. Like, the AC doesn't work in it. And I was trying to put my brain before my heart and it wasn't working because I'm like, this is literally my dream truck. Um, but then Miguel was like, hey, if we can make a deal with this guy that like he can fix all this stuff, then I guess we can buy it. And so I was just like, okay. Okay, guys. So I ended up doing it. Oh my gosh. So they had to like sign it in Miguel's name because I'm not 16. But I gave him my wad over. I gave him $1,000 to like down as like what like a deposit or whatever so we took it for like a test drive and like as soon as he pulled it out from because they got done working on it from the shop and then he pulled it out for us and I literally like I could not stop smiling and then when we rode in it it was like we were on top of like everyone and Miguel had a couple like issues like mechanical issues i know nothing about motor so like i said before i was trusting him that it could be dependable and um part of the deal was that the guy would get that fixed for us before so it's not coming home today or anything but i legit just bought a truck and then and then we had to wait and then we had to wait a couple weeks so that way they could fix everything properly and stuff. And then on September 14th, Miguel picked me up from school and we went to go get it. And here's where the adventure starts. Today is the day, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Miguel picked me up early from school. And he's doing his chores right now. But I'm like, no, I'm doing my chores after. You know what's serious when mama does her chores after. I like, I can't even process this. And actually, I need to hurry up and count my money. Guys. I've been saving up in this money drawer for like 
four or five years now and my whole entire wad is just gonna go here's like the four thousand dollars that i cashed out yesterday oh my gosh okay guys so we're almost there we have like what three more minutes left yeah yeah three four um the fact that like my kids could be watching this is crazy like i'm getting my first truck like that's so crazy like i have to give him this big old wad of money this is literally five thousand dollars here that i'm that's in my hands like that's kind of scary and crazy So, so when we first got there, the truck was still at the shop, and so then we kind of just waited around for it to get back. And then when it got back, Miguel talked to the guy who fixed it, and I went inside, and I paid the guy my big old wad that I've been saving up for years and years, and then he handed me the keys! And it was like official, and I was supposed to shake his hand, and I forgot to, but here's that clip right now. Shake his hand. You gotta shake his hand. Sorry. You gotta make it a deal. <laughs> but after he gave us the keys, it's like, okay, now it's time to drive home. Okay, guys, so the guy gave us all these keys, so we're gonna have to try and figure out which one works for this. <laughs> we're gonna drive home now. So we started driving for like five, ten minutes, and we were kind of low on gas according to the gauges up there. So we're like, we're fine, we're gonna make it to a gas station. Well, we didn't! We ended up stopping on the freeway right where all the cars were like zooming past us. Only this would happen to us. We ran out of gas. We've been driving it for, I kid you not, six minutes. And we're literally on the side of the road. Like, the gauge doesn't work because it said it had three eighths of a tank, which is enough to get to a gas station. So. I don't really know what we're doing right now. He's gonna try and call someone. So we're like, oh my gosh, what do we do? And Miguel's like, we're gonna have to start walking. So we legit walked a mile on the freeway. Oh my goodness, we gotta walk to a gas station. Yeah, we're going up a hill right now. So anyways, after like the sketchiest walk of my life, we made it to the gas station. Thankfully they sold gas cans. We filled up with gas and, and then we started making our way back to the truck. Okay guys, here's where we're walking right now. We have to go all the way up there. You can't even see my truck. It's so far down there. It's like a whole over a mile walk here. And it's like illegal to do this, but like, what else are we gonna do, right? Then we start walking down the ramp and keep in mind, we have like close to a mile to get to our truck. Like you can't even see it, like I said in the video. And I look behind me and there's just a car sitting there and I'm like, that's sketch. And then, the, and then they honked and they're like, come on, and I'm like, Bro, are we like legit hitchhiking? Like what? And so we just hopped in and they were like the sweetest old ladies ever. Like the girl in the passenger, she was like such a cute little old Grammy. She had like fluffy hair. It was the cutest little thing ever. On the right. We're, we're hoping it's just out of gas. I mean, we, we honestly just bought it five minutes ago. Really? And they're like, yeah, no, we didn't want you guys walking on the freeway. Literally, they were like, God sent them down to us, like angels, I swear. And they gave us a ride back to our truck. That way we didn't have to walk on the freeway. So we get back to the truck, Miguel is stirring pour gas in it. And then we went in to try and start it and the choke got stuck. Like we pulled the key out and it was still like, nah, nah. So Miguel was freaking out and I started freaking out. He hopped under and he was trying to like kick it or something. Again, I don't know anything about motors or anything. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I seen like all this gas just like pouring out and I was freaking out. So then he like popped open the hood. Um, and then Miguel like had to lift something up. I don't even know what he did. I was freaking out. This is start then. Um, but then they couldn't get the hood closed. Like it was just one problem after another. And it's like part of me was like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have bought this. And the other part of me was like, God's really testing me. Like how badly do you want this truck? So I was like, oh, I don't know which way to think right now. So then we stopped at another gas station and filled it up with gas. Cause that thing eats a lot of gas. It's going to cost me like $20 ride to school every day, but I'll look good doing it. And that's all that matters to me. And hopefully I'll be able to afford that um and then it like stopped but we were like out in the countryside so i wasn't that scared okay we're stopped again but in a much safer, safer area. area yeah 
Um, but now I just know that every time you gotta take a corn, you gotta like pump the gas. Like I'm learning all these things to not make it shut down on me. Um, but yeah, we finally made it home then. I did my chores. Yeah, there's the crazy story of how I bought a truck at 13 years old. All right, all right, so real quick before I give you guys a tour of it, I just wanna say that I don't wanna come off as like bragging or anything like that. I'm just really proud of myself and know that this truck was not easy to get, like legit it wasn't easy, um, but it was like years of working and saving up for it and so I don't know, I'm just like really proud of myself that I was able to do this, like the greatest thing you guys could do is just support me along through this because there's going to be people who are like, no you don't deserve it, you're only 13, blah blah blah, but yeah I just want, I want to be happy and nice to each other, I know you guys always are and stuff, but I don't know, I just felt the need to say that, but I'm going to stop talking and here's the tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I mentioned this in I know I mentioned this in the video before, but I just want to say I'm so thankful for you guys and you guys are so supportive of everything I do. I'm trying not to like get emotional, ew. But but like for real, I just want to say thank you for all the opportunities that YouTube has helped me have and like the fact that my kids might be watching this 15 to 20 years from now is crazy. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to your friends. Stay cringy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!